and telemetry are nominal. A good liftoff, as you saw, of the Falcon 9 rocket on the Starlink 7-16 mission. Falcon Coming up on the supersonic. first minute into flight. Max Q. There's that call out for Max Q. Falcon 9 has passed through the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Conditioning the upper stage engine for its burn to begin. Okay, we're going to see a number of events in pretty rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, in 2 plus 2 minutes and 26 seconds thereabouts. That'll be followed a few seconds after that by stage separation. Second stage engine start at T plus 2 minutes 36 seconds, and then fairing deployment at T plus 3 minutes and 5 seconds. Great view of the setting sun over the curve of the Earth there on the left hand side. Just beyond the flame of the Falcon 9 first stage engines. Coming up on Miko. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All good call outs through Miko stage set. Burn up from the vacuum engine. You can see the hypersonic grid fins deploying there on the first stage. Those will help provide steering and stability as this first stage makes its way back down towards the drone ship. Station out in the Pacific Ocean. Variable separation confirmed. Had a little more than three minutes to flight, and unlike most launches for Starlink, we didn't actually see the payload fairings separate from the upper stage, which is a bit unusual, especially for a Starlink mission. And so far, there have been no onboard camera views of the second stage either. Which is also a bit abnormal for SpaceX. Right there, you see it? Other than the first stage. The fairings and the first stage, both right there. Now coming up on the fourth minute of flight. You can see it falling back now. stage. 